Hello, my name is Flavio Samuel Mujage, History 2, teacher of Advanced Level. So welcome in this session to proceed with the new topic which is known as Neocolonialism and the question of underdevelopment in third countries. This is the last topic in History 2, Advanced Level in Form 6, so let us start it. Our topic will contain the four subtopics, which the first topic is the concept of neocolonialism and the underdevelopment. The second subtopic it is just uh, the the manifestation or the, the manifestation of of neocolonialism in the developing countries. And the third one it is the causes of the causes of neocolonialism, the causes of underdevelopment in the less developing countries. And the fourth one or the last one is the just the efforts to the efforts to solve the problem of underdevelopment in third world countries. So let us start with our first subtopic, which is the concept or the concept of neocolonialism and underdevelopment. By starting with the definition of neocolonialism, neocolonialism refers to the situation in which a politically independent country or nation is indirectly dominated or influenced by another country politically, economically, and socially. And this, that situation started after African independence in the year after the Second World War. It means that new colonialism refers to the situation in which the politically independent nation or country is indirectly dominated or colonized by the by the by the foreign domination in by the foreign domination in politically, socially, economically, military, technologically and uh, other spheres of influence. And that situation had started soon after the independence of African countries after the Second World War in 1945. So you can see the term new colonialism was started after the end of the Second World War. Many different countries in Africa were experiencing the new colonialism whereby indirect or indirect forms of domination was introduced and we are going to see them. To me, the term new colonialism was first coined by Kwame Nkrumah, the first post independence president of Ghana, and it has been discussed by a number of 20th century scholars and philosophers, including Noam Chomsky and Jean Salter. It means that the term new colonialism was the first way coined by the, the the first Ghana president after the independence of Ghana, who known as Kwame Nkrumah, the figure of Africa. And, and later was discussed by other 20th century scholars and the philosophers, including Noam Chomsky and the Jean Sartre. So the term neocolonialism replacing the colonial, colon, colonialism. It means new colonialism become as a new way of colonizing the people. It means the, the Westerners or imperialistic powers removed the or overthrew the, the, the colonialism way of dominating the countries or the weaker countries or less developing countries and imposed the, the new way of colonizing, which is neo-colonialism. So you can see that the imperialist powers were using or are still using the 
indirect ways of colonizing less developed countries in all aspects of life, and political, economic, social and social and, and economic matters. So let us see the aims of neo-colonialism, the aims of introduction of colonialism. The first one is to spread Western ideology. It means that the new colonialism was established or introduced to spread Western ideology. And the Western ideology it is capitalistic ideology, which is exploitative in nature. So the, 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 the imperialist powers or the capitalist nations were introduced new, new colonialism as a way of colonizing or domination, domination, dominating the, the less developed countries for the aim of their of the spreading the, their Western ideology, which was capitalism or imperialism. So you can see. Those Western countries like Britain, France, Italy, Portugal, Germany, and other nations or other Western nations struggling to spread their ideologies in most African countries or less developed countries after the Second World War. And the spread of Western ideology was engineered to the Con con containing the spread or the triumph of socialism or communism ideology. It means that on the struggling for the Westerners to spread the ideologies, we are aiming at contain or to stop the spread of communism ideology or socialist ideologies in the less developed countries. Another aim was to continue with economic exploitation of the independent territory countries. It means that the aim of the introduction of neo colonialism was to continue with the economic exploitation of the independent of independent territory countries. It means that those Western imperialistic powers was introducing neo colonialism in order to proceed their exploitation of exploitation of resources from independent, less developed countries or independent third-world countries. In which, in which way? In the way that they established the ways which were, which were indirect exploitative in nature, but the Africans or the less developed countries were exploited by the imperialistic powers indirectly without knowing. So, you can see various African or less developed countries' resources were being exploited, and until now they are still exploiting the less developing countries, including Tanzania. As now we are still expo exploited by those imperialistic powers like the USA, Britain, and other Western energy capitalist nations in the world. So we are still exploited by the Western or imperialist powers who are interested in our country and other less developing countries. Another aim is to divide the territory countries. It means that the aim of introduction of new colonialism was the aim, their, their main aim was to, to divide the the third-world countries it mean they introduced various unions or various organizations in order to ensure that the third-world countries are divided and there are no longer unity among them. For example, through the Commonwealth and the Paris Club, these were these were organizations or these were organizations or I can say the the, the institution, yet yeah, just, just uh, organizations which were aimed to bring to bring the territory countries in under one umbrella and to be dominated or colonized in direct, in direct 
without you knowing. For example, the common rights which was introduced in by the British government or the Britain. So this was this was the main aim was to divide the integrated countries. And the Paris Club was the aim, the aim was to divide the integrated country. Another was to foster dependence of all forms. To mean that the introduction of new colonialism in the third world countries was to foster or to foster the dependence of all forms or all forms of or all spheres of life. It means that new colonialism was established to make the third countries to be dependent to the West to the Westerners or the imperialistic powers. So politically, economically, socially, militarily and uh, technologically. And the, as you see now, the third world countries are still depending on the imperialistic powers or the abroad nations. It means that if the case of technology, in, until now, just a few African or less developing countries which have their industry manufacture forms. And these technologies which we are using are just being produced there and abroad and they are transported and to African or less African less developing countries. So you can see that many things are still dependent there to abroad where the territory countries are depending in economic matters, for example the the government budget or the other budget of the various governments are depending to get the assistance from abroad or from imperialistic powers. But in technology, the industries are are, are, are being supported by the by the abroad or the imperialistic powers. Politically we are still under the the system of Westerners or under the imperialistic powers. For example, many countries' constitutions and laws are adapted from their, their former colonies. For example, with Tanzanians, we are still with the constitution which are the elements of our former colonial master, which is Britain. So you can see the, the introduction of multi party system in Tanzania of having many political parties was adapted to not our system. We had only single single political party which was turned. And that party was assisted us to get the independence in nineteen sixty one under our president Julius Kambaragin. So after the introduction of new organizing by the imperialist powers forced us to to come up with or adapting the Western system. So in that sense. And another it is to to establish major parties in the territory countries. It means neo-colonialism has been introduced in order to establish various military bases in territory countries. And what were the what are the main aim of introducing military bases in the territory countries? It is just to ensure that there is protection of their interests against the other imperialist powers. For example, USA is being introduced in various various nations has been introduced in different military bases in various territory countries. For example, in Kenya, there is military base for USA there. So USA is just benefiting from from Kenya. From Kenya there, there is the USA interest. Even in, in, even in, 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 in Congo, there is USA military base there. So those military bases are ensuring that the, the, the needs of the imperialistic powers are, are, are satisfied due to the presence of that military personnel in the respective countries, the very countries. So you can see that the establishment of military bases are still under the umbrella of neocolonialism, which their main aim is to 
exploiting our resources so africans were exploited by those imperialistic powers so our resources like minerals have been exploited land and the way they want like diamond the gold the silver and more skins like the elephant the, 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 the elephants are being killed in the in the national reserves so you can see our resources are being exploited by the imperialist power so this the way neoliberalism to be established was aiming to do these were the aims of of neoliberalism so let us see the forms or manifestation of neocolonialism. Neocolonialism is manifested or implemented politically, economically, socially, militarily, and technologically. It means if we want to see or to, 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 to identify that neocolonialism is taking place in the territory countries, you have to consider in these on these five perspective or aspects which is political political matters you will see that neocolonialism is still operating economically neocolonialism is there socially neocolonialism is operating military i have to do that those imperialist powers have established military bases in different countries in their way country and technology you can't you can disagree with me on that. Technologies, even these are the technology from the imperialist power. And this one, the board, just technology which has been adopted from abroad. Phones, computers, laptop, cars, ships, aeroplanes, everything which which deal with technology is being dependent on from from their blood so we can't escape it this how we can manifest it or indicate the presence of new colonialism in very countries so we don't see one after another politically socially military economically and technologically the first aspect is political manifestations or political forms how you will identify that there is new colonialism the first one point under the political manifestation it is the presence of puppet regimes it means that those imperialist powers ensure that they plant the puppet readers in third world countries that will enable them to accumulate what they, what they need after taking the power into the government those readers will ensure the imperialistic powers needs are being implemented or accumulated or, or done. So you can see some readers in the power in third countries. Until now, there are some readers who are just fulfilling the imperialistic powers. So Africans will have to take care. There are some readers who are just, who are just defending the needs of imperialistic powers. For example, in those days, USA granted Mobutu Sese Seko in 1965, and then after the assassination of Patricia Mumba, USA had raised and lowered their, their fingers to grant the, the Mobutu Sese Seko as their puppet reader to ensure that their needs and their influence are being, are being sustained by the by the president leader with uh, their puppet in Zaire after and they ensured Patricia Mumba who was the leader of the nation and who were ensuring that no any imperialist power should exploit our resources and the leader was that that leader was assassinated and the US government decided to grant their puppet leader was called Mobutu Seseko in 1965. But not only in this in, 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 in Italy, even in Angola, USA was planted the Jonas Savin 
has their, uh, has their puppet in Angola. So you can see that those, those imperialist powers are planting their leaders or their puppet leaders who will assist them in fulfilling their interests. In, in, in other third world countries, they, they use the political parties. So, and again, I can give you an example. They give the, they, they, they use those political parties to ensure that after that leader to get the power or to get into the government, they will use him or her to, 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 to sustain or to fulfill their interests. So they support that political party in all aspects, financial, military, whatever. So they can acquire the power of the government and after acquiring that power, that leader or public leader will assist them in fulfilling their interests. Another, it is adoption of foreign constitution. It means many third world countries have been adopting the third, uh, have been adopting the foreign constitution. It means that the third world countries just adopting adapting the foreign constitution. For example, after the Second World War, many independent countries in 1916, many African and Asian, Caribbean, and many, many other third world countries become independent, political, or frag acquired frank independent. And in the result, they adopted the foreign constitution. For example, Westerners, specializing Tanzanian or Tanganyans by that time to adapt the mass party system. It means that the, 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 foreign, the, the Westerners or imperialist powers specializing Tanzanians to adapt the mass party system, which was which was implemented in 19, 1992. So that was that was the production of Manpat system and the first election which involved the Manpat system was in 1995 after Benjamin William Kappa became the president of Tanzania. So this was the starting point of Manpat system and other 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 foreign constitution in third world countries we can see in many countries. Another was engineering political instabilities. It means those imperialistic powers are waging on supporting those political unrest or civil wars in different third world countries to ensure that the chance when those countries or the, the groups in the particular country are fighting, they use that chance to exploit, to exploit their resources. So you can see that the, 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 the engineering of those political instabilities led to the mass exploitation, mass exploitation of natural resources of, of respective country. I, I, I can give you an example here, 1960 to 1961. USA engineering the political unrest in Congo. So you can see that in that year, USA was engineering the political instabilities or political unrest in Congo, whereby he brought, she brought her troops and, 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 and they, 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 they assumed that they are keeping peace while they, they, their aim was to exploit the Congolese or the Congo natural resources. Like, uh, like gold and there are other natural resources from the forest. So you can see that the, those imperialistic powers, their aim are to exploit and exploit more they can, more, more and more as they can, to ensure that. So another example is in 1975 to 2002 in Angola whereby the imperialist powers have been engineering the political unrest. So you can see that how those 
those imperialistic powers are, are supporting the political or wars in different federal countries to get the chance to chop their natural resources for their benefits. For example, in, in Angola, they, the, the, the USA supported, supported the Jonas Sabi and to overthrow the, the existing government and uh, Agustin Neto. So you can see that how USA has been expanding uh, uh, interest in different very one countries using that the engineering of political instabilities and they just keep and just say in there that they are keeping the peace while their aim is their bar and we don't know as everywhere countries. So this is another political manifestation. Another another political manifestation is the presence of foreign embassies. It means in in many third countries or in almost third countries there is imperialistic embassies or Westerners embassies and and they ensure that those ambassadors will will perpetuate all of influences and interests of the of the of their countries. So all policies and uh, and all strategies which are included in the nation are being the advised by those ambassadors. For example, the presence of a French ambassador there in Dar es Salaam, there is U.S. ambassador or U.S. ambassador there near Costa Bay. So this is showing that those imperialistic powers are, are the the interest of, of of establishing those foreign embassies in. In, in, in the third world countries, the aim is just acting as the advice of the government in different policies. While the aim is just is just to 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 exploit or to get their interests, and not in only in Tanzania, in the other many third world countries, the foreign foreign domination are establishing the foreign embassies. Uh, another it is presence of social political social political international unions. It means that there is there is social and political international unions. For example, Commonwealth by the Britain and the Francophone by the France. It means that this the 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 establishment of social political unions which are aiming to bring about to bring about together those all colonies which were under the under the under the single colonial master so that they can be easy to be dominated in the electorate without knowing. So you can see the common wealth by the Britain and the flung form by the French. So these are the colonial masters who just uh, uniting the, their, their former colonies in order to, to get their interest and, uh, and influence on those colonies. So until there, these, were, these are the political manifestations for, for new colonialism. So there is an excellent deal which involve or include the one question that explain explain the political manifestation of of neo Means that explain the the explain the political political manifestation of neo colonialism. So until that is the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching me. Thank you very and welcome in the next session. And thank you for choosing.
Educare Tanzanian for the your best choice.